In this video, we are going to continue with compound angle formula. You will find this on page 446 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now we are going to focus on the formula for tan A plus B and tan A minus B. Okay. So we are going to use the identities that tan theta is equal to sin theta over cos theta. Okay. We're also going to use that sin A plus B, the previous one, is equal to, or the first one, sin A cos B. Remember, if that's a plus, this will also be a plus cos A sin B. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger that you can see better. And then we're also going to use cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus, remember the sign change, sin A sin B. Okay, let's start. So tan A plus B, remember what I said, first use this. So it's sin A plus B cos A plus B. Now, bring in this, this compound angle of sin, the compound angle, let's just do it like, the compound angle of sin. So what is the compound angle of sin? So I replace this one on top. Then I bring in the compound angle of cos. And what is this? And I replace this one there. Okay. And now, what am I going to do? I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator. And look, by cos A, cos B. Did you see? Cos A. Oh, let's just make it better. Cos A, cos B. So take that, divide cos A, cos B. Divide that, cos A, cos B. And now look what cancel out. The cos, can, cos B cancel out there. The cos A cancel out there. In this case, or both cancel out, and then nothing cancel out. So what am I left with? I'm left with sin A, cos A, which is tan A, plus sin B, cos B, which is tan B. And then this, if everything cancel out, then it's 1 minus. And then, don't forget that it's, it's identical, do you see? And it's sin over cos, so that can change into, um, let's just quickly see, tan A, because let's just see, this one, this one is going to be tan A, and this one is going to be tan B, and there. Okay, and can I just help you? To, uh, so remember, if it's a positive, if it's a positive on top, but at the bottom, there was a negative. Do you see? And it's tan A plus tan B, 1 minus, and instead of a plus, then it's multiply. Okay. Now, how do I get the negative one? I replace the B by negative B. That I do. Every time I see a B, I replace it by negative B. And please, don't again forget, okay, I want to show you quickly here. I can show you. I assume you would know this. Okay, so in this case, this positive times a negative becomes a negative. In this case, now what is tan minus b? Okay, so remember, I'm going in the negative direction. Where it is now? I go in the negative direction, and this is negative b. And now, don't forget your cos diagram. This is cos. So what is, what is tan in this one? This is negative. So this becomes negative tan B. And the same here. Tan, what is it? It's negative. So it's, it's almost like, can I just show you? It's, well, I just want to take red. So it's 1, and then it's the tan A. And it's almost like it's a bracket. Just make it here. It's a bracket, and then inside the bracket, because of the negative, it's negative tan B, but it's multiplied. But the negative times a negative will result into the positive. So did you see it changed from a negative to a positive, and then tan A, tan B. Now, I want you to compare the two, or you can compare it here. It doesn't matter. If it was a positive, it's positive on top, and then negative. And if it is negative, then it's negative on top, and then positive. But the rest is identical the same. Okay. A bit more challenging, but let's look at an example. Okay, 
So without using a calculator, find the value of 1 plus 10, 15, 1 minus 10, 15. Okay, so in this case, I'm, I'm going to, okay, remember 10, 45. What is 10, 45? Um, I'm going to take you very far to show you what is 10, 45. I can show you there. Um, remember, this, was, this is this one over this one, which is 1. Or 10, 45 is opposite over adjacent, which is 1. Okay, but it's 1. Okay, so what I basically do, and this is a bit challenging. In the pl place of 1, I substitute 10, 45. Because I'm trying to, to create this one of these two. Okay. So it's 10, 45 plus, so I'm trying for this one actually, uh, and then it's 10, 15. And then, now look what I do. Because I'm creating that, I'm making it again 10, 45. It's almost like this is A and this is B. So then it's 10, A, so I replace again, and then 10, 15. Because remember, every time this and this will just be 1 and 1, and basically if I reverse back, it will give me this. And now, I actually recognize this one. Did you see there? It's this one. Because it's 10, do you see? 10, 45, plus 10, 15, 1 minus 10, 45, the A, 10, 15. Which is actually, and there it is, just 10, 45, plus 15. And 45 plus 15 will be 60. So, 10 of 60. And now, what is that? Again, I can just basically go to this one. So 10 of um, 60, there it is. It's opposite over adjacent, so it's just square root 3 over 1, which is just square root 3. Okay, that was a bit challenging. Um, I want you to stop the video. Now, I think number, number um, A is more or less like the example. So in this case, I'm not going to give you A. I'm going to give you, because this is a bit different, I'm going to give you B and C. So again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B and C. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. I'm starting with number B. 10. And this is negative 15 degrees. Okay. Now, I must also think of A plus B or A minus B. So, and I, I work with 30, 45, 60. So, what will end up at negative 15? So, if I say, look what I say, I say 10, and I say 45, and I subtract 60. Do you agree? Then it will be negative 15. Because I'm trying to get one of the rules, the compound rules. Okay, now I can come to the rule. Now, can you remember? It was 10, 45. And when it was a negative, then it was first on top a negative. And then it was 10, 60. Okay, and then it was over. Okay, and now don't forget your 1. And then it was the opposite sign, plus... So 10, 45, 10, 45, 10, 60. Okay. And now I can start working it out. Okay. I'm going to just use my triangle that I'm used to. Okay. This is the 60. So I think, let me just quickly, um, I'm going to, because maybe for the next one, I'm going to use it again. So I'm just quickly going to um, write it here for you. Just get my pin. Uh, so let's first do the, the 60 and the 30, and then we can do the 45. It's nice, the equal uh, isosceles. So in this case, let me just write it in. This is going to be, okay, so it's this one and this one. And this one was um, pi, uh, and this was actually 30, so it's pi over 6. This one, okay, okay, I, I'm not in pi, I will, first in degrees, so it's right, I will now write that in. So that is 30, and this one is 60, and that is 45, and that is 45. And then my sides will be, this is 2, this is 1, this is square root 3, and this is 1, 1, square root 2. Okay, now I can start writing it in. Now, if I'm writing it in, 
And let's just quickly. I'm going to say tan 45. So what is tan 45? 1 over 1. So in this case, it's just going to be 1. Okay. What is tan 60? I remember, here I stand. There is 60. The tan is opposite over adjacent. So it's just square root 3 over 1, which is just square root 3. Okay. Then it's 1 plus, what is tan 45? I know now it's 1, but you can check it again. Okay. Let's just rather do it like a multiply. What is tan 60? It's square root 3. So basically, I'm ending with 1 minus square root 3 over 1 plus square root 3. Now, according to me, rationalization is not in, in this number being AES levels, so it's not necessary. But I'm preparing you for further mathematics, so I'm going to rationalize it. So let's just do it. It's actually quite... You, chapter 1, I did that. Can you recall? So I'm trying to get this one. So I, I'm trying to get the difference between two squares. So I start here and say it's the difference, so it will be exactly the same. But if this is a positive, this is a negative. And whatever I multiply at the bottom with, I must also multiply at the top with. And then... I'm going to start multiplying. So one times, so it's the two brackets. So one times one is one. This is negative square root three. This is again negative square root three. And a negative times a negative is positive three. Okay? Okay. And then I'm going to do this one. Now I'm going to multiply. It's difference between two squares. So it's actually very easy, but, but I'm going to multiply it now that you can see it. So one times one is one. This is negative square root 3. If you multiply this, it's positive square root 3. And if you multiply, this is negative 3. Okay, so this is 1 plus 3, so this is going to be 4. So minus, this is like terms, so it's 2 square root 3. This cancel out. That is why I could have just squared the first one, squared the second one with a negative in between, difference between two squares. So it is 1 minus 3, so it's negative 2. Now what I can do to simplify it further, I can, I can take up 2 as a common factor. Then it's 2. Oh, let's just get that pen correct. Then it's 2 minus square root 3 over that negative 2. And then it's going to, this is going to be negative 1, so it's negative, and then 2 minus square root 3. And then it's going to be, um, this is going to be square root 3, uh, okay, doesn't matter, you can, whatever way you want it. Square root 3 minus 2, or uh, square root, negative 2 plus square root 3. That is how I will rationalize it. Now, I'm going to leave this one up because I'm going to use this part again in the next one. So let's start. I just want to see uh, number C. Number C is actually quite challenging, but I want to leave this one up. Um, let's just write it here. Okay. Usually I'm, I'm not leaving it up, but I want to leave it now. So number C. So what was number C? It was cot. And then it was 7 pi over 12. Okay. And then it will be 10. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to take, uh, okay, before I'm, I will, okay, I'm going to just do it like this. I think it's going to be better like this. If I'm just going to, because I'm going to go in the next level, so I'm going to say this is equal to 1 over, are you with me? 10, okay, so I'm making it um, a 10, and then it's 7 pi over 12. Okay, now, because I want to work with 10. Now, as soon as I did this, I must again, what will give me this? Now, now I, I showed you previously also quite a lot of times, so, but I'm going to do it again. I said, okay, you have pi over 3. You have pi over 4, and you have pi over 6. But if you see it's 12, you make the denominators the same. Maybe there's a shorter way, but this is the way I can think to explain it to you. No, that's times 3, times 3, because I'm going to 12, 
this is, oh, I was not concentrating here. Um, so let's just, let's just do this, sorry. It's going to 12. Just concentrate. So this is going to be, this is 12, so it's times 4, times 4. Times 3, times 3. Oh, times 2, times 2. And this is then going to be, uh, okay, where am I now? This is going, okay, my color. This is going to be 4 pi over 12. This is going to be 3 pi over 12. And this is going to be 2 pi over 12. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly see what I'm going to do. So if I'm going, to, and this is going to, I can just work with this too. Can you see? So I can say pi over 3 and pi over 4. Can I, can I just show you? Because I just like drawing the lines here. Okay. And because 4 plus 3, that will be 7. So basically, I'm just going to work with this one without multiplying. It is, it's working out perfect. And this one. Okay. So if I want to break this one now up, I'm going to say 1 over... And now I'm going to say um, tan. Oh, let's just get the pen correct. I'm pen. Um, tan. And I'm going to say it's uh, pi over 3. Pi over 4, doesn't matter. Let's keep it pi over 4 plus pi over 3. Doesn't matter the order because it's addition. Okay. Now... I, I'm trying, I, I'm trying to go to, to that rule here, so let's just do it. So remember, this is now plus, so it's equal to 1. Okay, I'll make it long. So now it's going to be, if I break this up, as I showed you, so it's going to be tan pi over 4. Keep the sign, so it's going to be positive tan pi over 3 over and then it's going to be okay so uh, remember your rule so it's one minus the opposite sign and then it's tan pi over four multiply tan pi over three okay so if i simplify this i'm going to substitute now so it's going to be one over Okay, let's, uh, pi over 4, can you, can you remember what was the uh, tan of that? Can I just oh, show you again? Uh, I'm just going to redraw it, that's the best, because it's just tan. So it's, okay, no, 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 I want to write pi over 4, can you remember? That was just 1, okay, I'll just take it up and pi over 3, so that's all. I just want to show you quickly, so tan pi over 4. What is tan? I'll show you quickly here. Okay, tan is opposite over j. So can you see it's 1? But tan pi over 3. Remember pi over 3? Let me just fill it in. This is pi over 6. That is 30. And this is pi over 3. So what is tan? It's opposite over adjacent. And that is square root 3. Well, you remember that. 1 and square root 3. So let's just go back. Let's go back. Um, so here it's going to be one minus. Oh, okay. Let's just uh, just see where I'm. I'm just not thinking now. Okay. Let's just make the colors. Okay. So let's just go. There's the one. Okay. Tan. Can you remember? It's one plus tan. So that is square root three. Can you remember? Over. Remember that's the long one, and that's. 1 minus, and what will that be? 1 multiply, and that will be square root 3. Okay. And that will be equal to 1 over 1. Okay, remember, that's the fraction. Fraction, multiply the reciprocal. So it's going to be 1 minus square root 3 over 1 plus square root 3. So the answer is going to be 1 minus square root 3, 1 plus square root 3. And the reason why I was not cleaning, usually I clean, I want to show you this. And I just 
before I rationalized. I want to show you this. What was this? It was 1 minus square root 3 over 1 plus square root 3. So minus plus. And let's just see. So 1 minus square root 3, 1 plus. So it's exact. So if I rationalize it, I, I just get 1 in the exam. I will, and I'm not going to repeat it, I will do this process again. Okay. So I can basically say my answer will be negative 2 plus square root 3, if it's rational, guys. So it will be negative 2 plus square root 3 after after I rationalize, it's rather write it like that, after I of the, the denominator. This will be my final answer, and that's how it.